Good evening, good evening. Hello, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good evening. How was uh, your long weekend? Good, teacher, how about you? Great. Nice, teacher. Did you have a good long weekend? Hi. Hi. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Somebody is reporting that uh, I think it's Jose Andres. He's on the way home. He won't be able to be in classes yet. Okay, what did you do on your long weekend? What did you do on your labor's day, by the way? Did you enjoy the break? It was a break, definitely. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How is life treating you in Hayaki? It's very good, teacher. The weather? The weather is so so similar to the country so warm it's very it's hot it's hot Cooler. yeah Morning. yesterday i think it was terrible the weather was really really hot yeah, yeah. but last saturday is most is most hot you think it was hotter on saturday Saturday, oh, yeah. yes. I think the three days, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Today, I I think it was not that bad, actually. But these three days for the weekend, temperature pretty high. Very, very hot. All right. You ready for classes? Yes, teacher. I'm ready, ready. for practicing? Yes, I am ready, yes, teacher. Yes. Ready for conversation? <laughs> yes. Did you study? Did you complete the exercises on the platform? Yes. No. <laughs> no it's answer. not platform, teacher. There's no teacher. Platform. Yes. One, one I, I had unit. a problem in, in platform. platform. What happened? Is yeah, is is. They use the two um it's no 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 lo pude hacer teacher me send, send the screenshots on the group in WhatsApp so we can help you we can give you ideas how to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Send photos. Anybody else is having issues with the platform? No? Pretty good. All good, all good. Yes, teacher. All right. Thank God. Yes, teacher. Thank All good, God. teacher. Thank God. All right. Today is May. Tuesday, May 2, 2023. May 2nd. Tuesday, May 2nd. May. Actually. Yeah, May 2nd. Is... Imagine May. Right. One month that is going to fly. <laughs> because yes. yesterday, the first holiday. On Mother's yeah. Day, the second holiday. <laughs> so the Father's Day. Father's Day is next month. Yes. Next next month. Yes. Oh my God. Let's have attendance. Andrea. Carlos. Present teacher. Dennis. Gilberto. Present teacher. Good evening. Hazel. Jose Andres, on the way home. Julio Cesar Fabian. Present. Hello, good evening. Catherine Beatriz. Present. Good evening. Katy Briseida. Maria Leticia Realegenio. Mayet. All right. Roberto Carlos. Present, teacher. Gámez. Games, yes. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> last name, too. Yes. Uh, Rolando yes, Danilo Ula. Sanchez. Present teacher. Rudy Alexander Asensio. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present. Susana Andrea Urbina. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. 
William Boris Roque. Oh, no. Ah, hi, good evening. How are you? I'm great. Doing great. All right. Welcome. Welcome to classes. Well, do you remember the topic that we were studying before this long break? Any Using idea? the these, those, that. The demonstrative, yes. We were using the demonstrative in sentences, right? This, that, these, those. What else? The use can, could. Can it's and very could. polite. Uh-huh. For very polite request. Right. Okay. What else? Do you remember the conversation with can and could? So, so, a little bit on the manual. At least. Oh my god. Okay, somebody else asking for permission. Another person, let me see who is this time. Andrea Urbina. Oh my god, it's raining in Metapan. <laughs> it rains in Metapan, it rains in Santana, but it doesn't rain in San Salvador, you know. That's not nice. It's so the car no grow up. The? the the corn the, the maize no, oh no. yeah the corn <laughs> plantations doesn't grow yeah. true yeah true 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 yeah definitely any plantation needs a lot of water a lot yes yeah definitely the plants definitely drink the water <laughs> yes the yes. beans teacher the, the beans, beans very important true. yes true 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 Okay. Teacher, yep. What does um? Let me see. Give me one second. Ah, what does no nowadays means? Nowadays. Nowadays, yes. Nowadays is uh, in the current time. We usually say in Spanish "hoy en día." Ah, okay. <laughs> That's why okay. nowadays. <laughs> Ah, uh -huh. it's almost literal, almost. Mm -hmm. but it's only no one word. No. Okay, mm -hmm. and trending? What's trending? Mean trending trending yes. is, for example, on social media. If something yes. is in yes, fashion, it's trendy, but it can be also mm -hmm. in clothes, it can be also a good, a good adjective. Mm -hmm. In fashion, means so everybody's using it or everybody's doing it. That is trendy. Uh, For like example, a... they say it's a trend. Es como algo que está de moda. A trending topic? Mm -hmm. Topics that everybody's uh, talking about. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Well, like, like a tweet of the uh mr president for, for example mm -hmm. those are trending topics okay or they say breaking news <laughs> yeah breaking news uh -huh. okay very good all Thank right you. yes for better reference i'm going to share yeah i think this is something related to what we were studying Last class, let me just choose this one. Uh -huh. Just to refresh our memory, we were practicing this conversation, right? Yes, Linda and Juan. Exactly, between Linda and Juan. And then the idea was to ask for information in a polite way, in an educated way, right? So we were brainstorming questions that customers ask about the product. And we usually have to, I mean, if we work for a, for a company that sells product, we have to be able to answer these questions in a polite way. Definitely. So then after this, we have the explanation, right? For how to use, can and could both are the same i mean not the same exactly but very very similar in use 
right? I can give you my personal information. She can't pay for the washer right now. Can I have your credit card number? Can you tell me how many times you need? How many items, sorry, you need it? Uh, you could try with another credit card. Could, right? So the positive way to say can and negative can't. And then positive yes. could and negative would be couldn't. So they couldn't give you my billing address. Could you spell your last name? Could we check the details of my order? So both are for polite request, okay? Then we have complete the questions with can and could. Then ask a partner and write the answers. Okay, what type of questions are we gonna ask right here? Could you, could you, can you, could you? So you have two with can and two with could. Imagine that you are requesting for information about a product or you are requesting the customer some information to complete a form or to complete the receipt or to complete any document that you are going to give when you attend the store or when you want to get the contact number, for example. So for example, if in the first one say, could you spell your last name, please? Sure, B-O-R-T-I-L-L-O. -L -L -O. That would be the possible answer, okay? That's why they say complete the question with can and could, then ask a partner and write the answers. Of course, you write your questions, but your partner, when you ask these questions, will give you an answer. Yes? Is it clear? Similar to this one. Yes? Yes. Can I have your credit card number? Imagine if you write here, could I have your credit card number? Then the other person says, sure. It's one seven zero three four five nine seven six three three right so imagine somebody right here can i have your address yeah sure is residential blah 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 number a house block three blah, blah blah okay so if i ask you could i have your email address yeah sure it's portillo at gmail dot blah 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 Okay, so if you write these questions, then when you practice with your partner, your partner has to give a possible answer. Yes, start, write the four questions, two questions with can and two questions with could. You have two minutes. Please tell us when you finish. Interesting. All right. You ready? Not yet? No yet. Not yet, all right. Two more minutes. Please teacher. All right, imagine that you work in a store. Imagine that you are requesting information about a product. Could I say this? 
laptop in a different model? Could I see this laptop in a different color? Yes, if you are the customer. <laughs> if you are the, the sales person or if you are the person who attends the store, probably you say, could I have your ID number? If you want some credit. All right, you have the questions already? Let's say the questions to your partner. Teacher is correct when I say, can you please tell me what's going on? Sure. <laughs> but yes, the question is completely correct. Okay. But when you ask this question, in this case, you're not a customer, I think. You ah, okay, sound okay. more like a psychologist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Or Is, a father uh, to your children, you can say that. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's all the concept. Yeah. I mean, because of the of the objective. Remember, yes. okay. yeah. Okay. The lesson okay. is about shopping and stuff like that. But if you okay. want to ask your children, your friends, your co workers, it's fine. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. So you're going to ask these questions that you already completed to your partners, and your partners have to give you a possible answer. There might be more than a possible answer, of course, right?
buy two car. Uh, repeat, can you repeat, please? Can you give buy two car? Puede usted vender, este, darme su carro, va? Y yo puse, y como respuesta, no, I can't. Ah, usted puso, can you? Can you give? Ajá. Tu car, va? Can you buy? O sea, puede, no, tu car, o sea, puedes tú darme tu carro, ¿verdad? Eh? Ah, entonces sería... Este, tú dijiste, can you... Can pass you... This, uh, pass this, pass, yo creo que así se dice, ¿eh? ¿Puede, ¿Puedes pasarme la ensalada? Ajá. Ah, ok. Ok, uh, pero... El, el, yo lo el que entiendo que el contexto es como como, como diferente eh, lo que la ajá, teacher como, estaba diciendo ahí. Ajá, ya, como, ajá. El, como en el caso de, de... Virginia, usted ya las tenía. Uh, sí, he hecho tres. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> usted puede preguntar si alguien le puede sacar productos de la <risa> de... Sí, en una, en una ah. call you health eh, mi, mi, mi time sí que me ayuden a sacar la mercadería del parqueo por favor uh -huh. Uh -huh. En mi caso, yo sí las, las hice a ver si está bien. Podría pasarle el balón. Ajá. Podría chequear el, los emails. Mm. Si se dice, could, could you go to the play? Um, a possible answer, uh, no, I, I couldn't because I, I have class of English. Ya, yeah, si es negativa. Sí. Pero Por si bien. es positiva, yes, I could. Yes. I, I yes, can I... go to the I can go to the place. Sí. Y usted qué puso, don Rolando? Eh, Roberto. Ha sido don Roberto. Disculpe. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number one. Can you help me with the report? Can you help me with the report? Ah, ¿podría ayudarme usted con el reporte? Ajá, ¿podrías, ¿podrías tú ayudarme con el reporte? Y posible de repos, rep No, no, hay can No hay can Yeah, it is is good because, answer. Sure. Because uh, actions were. Porque tengo mucho trabajo. Ah, entonces sería. Eh, sí. No, no, I can because I have a lot, a lot work. No, I can't. Ah, no, I can't. I have, Ese, ajá, I esa have. es la primera, la respuesta corta. No, I can't. Ah, no, no puedo. Ah, y si ya la quiere explicar. Es... Eh, 
es como artículo. Uh, Ajá, se puede co comprar cualquier artículo para el cumpleaños. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Teacher, is correct uh, this sentence. Tell me, repeat it, please. Uh, for example, can you buy any item for the... Uh, for the brother, birthdays? Brothers' uh -huh. birthdays, oh. for yeah. example. Sure. It's okay. correct. Brother, brother's birthday. birthday. Brother's birthday. Birthday yes. with an apostrophe. Yes. Yeah, yes, brothers. Birthdays. Okay. Birthday. Uh, Happy birthday. birthday. Okay. <laughs> when is just birthday, teacher? In September. And yours? 15. <laughs> yes, I'm a patriotic person. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> no, but I have a friend that whose birthday is in on September 15th. And she's a teacher too. And she used to work in La Salle. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh-huh. And my birthday is in January 10th, teacher. January. Yes. Oh my God. Do you have celebrations? Never. <laughs> um, yes, I probably, have a birthday. <laughs> laughing, Only, laughing. Yeah. Bad, bad boy. Bad He's boy. very glad. Very glad. <laughs> the problem is teacher, that my birthday is um after to the after uh, the celebration months yes and yes. at that time everybody's buying school notebooks books and yes. school supplies yes. so budget for my birthday is <laughs> to buy crayons for your children how many children yes. do you have two teacher how old are they uh the first one is nine years old and the other one uh, two years old. Two. Oh my yes, God, two years. Amazing. Two years. Yes, very. Um, it's like a very inquieto. I, I don't know how to say. Uh, very active. <laughs> yes, act, uh, like and, a malilla. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. And the two yes. are boys. Yes. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. Yes, uh, only uh, spend the time fighting and, you know, <laughs> very difficult. <laughs> but now, I mean, there's no difference if you have boys or girls, if they are, if they are hyper, they are hyper. I have 12. Really? 12 kids. 12 kids? Yeah. <laughs> you? You? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they are my nieces and nephews. And ah. yesterday I was at my mom's house and I know there is a girl called Diana. Esa Dianita mm -hmm. que molesta. <laughs> Yo le digo, mami, ah, ya me voy, le digo, adiós. <laughs> I'm leaving. See you next, next Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> really? She was really noisy. Really noisy. Really? Yes, I imagine. I know. I say I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. Really, I I I need a a I full of the pa a patient, a patient. <laughs> no, no, no more, no more, no more. I you were gonna say a girl. <laughs> no, 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 a patient, patient. Patience. Yes, patience. Yeah, enough patience. I know, I know. Yes. But imagine at the foundation, I have 31 in the morning and 35 in the afternoon. Really? In the La Salle? No, in Adult. Ah, oh, really? 31 in the morning and 35 in the afternoon. Mm. Ah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sometimes it's teaching, teaching English. Exactly. Uh, it's, it's really heavy. But it, it, I imagine it's very stress in the in this case. You uh, know, because of the kids, sometimes, but because of the authority, sometimes it's uh, terrible because they uh, are really, really demanding. 
<laughs> yes. I... Just because teacher, you... teacher, teacher. No, just because one thing you didn't do as they expect, they are calling you, and they say, right? yeah. and I'm like, uh huh. Did you ask me why? <laughs> no, they are just judging you. <laughs> but you know, people who have very little knowledge about teaching sometimes just make these arguments, and they don't really know the reasons. Mm -hmm. So that's why sometimes it makes it harder. But because of the kids, eh, they are okay. Sometimes they don't learn what they are supposed to learn, but the consequences is for both, not only for the kids, for both the teachers and the students. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I okay. learned to live with that already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am like 35, 35, really. 35 after 35 kids and, mm. and they a are lot of always, yeah they're, they're always like teacher 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 <laughs> and a lot of a lot of voices in your brain yeah yes, I, I, and, I, I and, you I and you. sometimes it's not even for the class it's because porque hace calor and you Okay, what's wrong with the calor? <laughs> <laughs> Turn on the AC. What's the problem? <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, on the, the song. Yeah, the questions are not about the class. The questions are about their existence. Ah, yeah, philosophy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The questions mm -hmm. are about their needs, their likes, their necessities. But, you know, those are the <laughs> That's the crystal generation. Yeah, y se la creen, yeah. y se la creen que son de cristal realmente. Yeah. <laughs> very, very interesting topic. Very right? demanding. Yeah. They are very demanding. Everything is important, but everything mm. around them, around mm -hmm. the country, around the, the society, no, that's not important. Mm -hmm. Their needs are what matters most. Teacher, but you have uh, the teachers in general uh, have a disadvantage. Uh, because uh, the teacher before uh, maybe uh, uh, los regañaban hasta le daban su reglazo. Ah, in the past. Yes, in the oh, past. Yes, that yes. Was right now, <laughs> it's a, a, a delito. Oh, no, it's a crime. Yes, it's a yeah. crime. Ni lo vuelvo a ver mal porque poor little child. Christ, yeah, yeah. Christ, go cry into the psychologist's office. <laughs> True. Really? Mm -hmm. And the and the father of the, the boys or teenagers? <laughs> uh, don't they you don't. Uh, maybe recline? Sometimes we don't have contact, but the the principal, the director, mm -hmm. and the vice principal, the the psychologists they they have meetings with the parents okay but okay. most yeah thank god most of the parents are from a different generation they say no i do <laughs> thank <laughs> god <laughs> but some <laughs> other some other parents they say no my child it doesn't deserve this treatment and blah 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 and they say no we're quitting we're leaving we don't come <laughs> anymore okay, okay. thank you <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I think everybody finished already. Oh, my imagine. Yeah. Okay. Um, Orlando. Mm -hmm. uh, terminamos la, la otra sentence. Did you finish? Teacher, excuse me, says, 
can you write down personal information? Yep. Yes. Oh, okay. Sure. Did you finish? Everybody? Yeah, group one, group two. Okay, from finish. group one, let's say Rolando. Tell us one question, please. Can or could? <laughs> you are the volunteer. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, can you buy any? Excuse me. Can you buy a cell phone? Yes, I, I can. Yes, I can. Uh -huh. Can you show me those cell phones? Uh, can Can you buy any bananas? <laughs> those requests are for your children. <laughs> <laughs> Not for your wife. <laughs> teacher. Um, eh, cuando uno pregunta este con cool o con o con quem uh -huh. eh, tiene que responder con quem con el mismo auxiliar que preguntó okay pero la mayoría de las veces no es necesario porque por ejemplo cuando uno quiere decir sí sí claro no hay problema no dice yes I can sino que sure no problem ah okay of course uh -huh. um, Could you pay with your credit card? Is correct? At the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, of course. Sure. Of course, of no course. problem. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds good, yeah. actually. Yeah. All right, only, from group only two. listen. No problem. From okay. group two, Hazel, Maria, Salvador, Virginia. Who participated in this group? Everybody? Hazel, Mary, Salvador, Virginia? Everybody. Everybody. So Salvador is going to represent the group. <laughs> <laughs> the music, you everybody. <laughs> nice. Salvador is a volunteer. Okay. Go ahead. And I. Someone like this. Could you write a report of container, please? Mm -hmm. And the answer: Yes, I write report today. Okay, I will write the report today. All right. Mm -hmm. Any other? And the other, uh, we can't. Can you check the emails? Can you check your email? Sure, I will. I will check my email, right? Yes, I okay. can check the emails. Mm -hmm. All right, no problem. Group three, I think, was nobody. In group four was Gilberto, Catherine, Roberto, and Rudy. Who represents the group four? Hello, teacher. Hey, go ahead. Este, ahí estuvimos trabajando con Gilberto. Eh, creo que los otros compañeros estaban de oyente. Really? Yes, pero ahí Gilberto ahí. Eh, bueno, compartimos ahí las preguntas y las respuestas, teacher. One example, please. Uh, for example, I, I tell Gilberto question number one. Can you help me with the report? Can you help me with the report? And Gilberto said, sure, no problem. I'll help you <laughs> right uh, away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, other, other answer uh, Gilberto say is yes, I can. Or other negative, no, I can't. Yes, I heard that he says he has too much work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the case you answer in negative, maybe it's better to answer like, sorry, I can't. I have other things to do. <coughs> yes. Uh, uh, for example, uh, he, uh, he said the short answer, mm -hmm. but, but to, he is 
explains explains the, the reason, the reason because, why can't. because yes or be, because not mm -hmm. sure all right all right all right the other other question number two mm -hmm. uh, when you when you pull mm -hmm. number two would you give me your phone number mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you just say, sure. And then you say the number, right? Yes, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. For another, another request for your partner, sometimes it's like, could you give me a ride? <laughs> could you buy me some lunch? Yes. yes. Could you get me a snack? Uh -huh. So usually we request people to do favor for us at all, I mean, at all times, right? Okay. okay, nice, thank you. So your reminders from the class and of course, okay, we're just finishing with this uh, review, can and could. I told you at the beginning of the class that can and could are very similar. Maybe it's just a little difference in politeness, which is could is more polite than can, but it's not a huge difference. Because sometimes we hear just add the word please, and that is a still polite. Yes. So I have some other excerpts. Oh, here are the questions that you already work on. Could you tell me the price of this computer? Sure, it's just 350.25, right? So that's just one example. Could you mention the discounts or promotions for this cell phone or for this uh, refrigerator or any other thing, right? So those are the examples, of course. Let me see. Mm -hmm. This is another explanation. It say for affirmative, I can, you can, he can, she can. For all the subjects, we need the auxiliary can or could. And for the negative, for all the subjects, we, we still need the same auxiliary can't or couldn't. When you want to ask questions, we start with can or could. Could you give me a ride today, please? Yes. Can I have your attention please <laughs> right yes and if you have short answer yes usually we answer with this yes okay here i have another exercise is just fill in the blanks okay fill in the blanks to complete the sentences i'm going to give you a couple of examples before you work on this exercise fill in the blanks to complete the sentence use the words in the box in the above box. Okay, here, go to the party last night because I was sick. Here, for the past tense, we usually use could. And says, I couldn't go to the party last night because I was sick. Yes. And for ability, we use can. So, can Noel cook Italian food? Yes, he can. Yes. And then for the past, we usually use could. This is another use, right? So my sister couldn't swim last year, but now she can. Yes. So we have to be altering. For the past, an ability in the past, we use could or couldn't. And in the present, we use can or can't. Is that clear? This is the other use of can and could. Yep. Are you ready to discuss? And this exercise is with can and call. Exactly. When are we gonna use could or couldn't for the past action, for the past ability? And can okay. for present. Okay. All right, this is just another use of can and could. Yes, not only for polite request. Let's see the same groups. Or should I make another one? 
And let's see. Yeah, some more people should be there in each of the groups. I'll share the screenshot, don't worry. Hello. Creo que están de oyentes, teacher. Really? Yes. Everybody. Yes. Oh my God. True. Okay, let me see. Entonces, eh, seríamos que de expresar habilidad, que go to the party, las sí, cosas. La pues, la sí, verdad. Que ya nos respondió, I can go to the party last night. I can go, go verdad. Ok, permítame, vamos a ver si podemos anotar acá. Wow. Ahí está. ¿Qué sería? Sí, yo creo que sí es también. Uh -huh. Incluso hay unos ejercicios en el, en el ejercicio 9. No sé si alguien ya habla, avanzó en la plataforma. Que está, están esos ejercicios, pero yo solo dos puedo hacer. Hay cuatro. Ah, no, no he llegado ahí todavía. Y de eso se trata, por eso quizás. Por eso Ahora, no lo han sabido resolver. Cabal, <ríe> porque no hay unos que sí están fáciles, pero hay unos que no. Sí. Vaya. Yo viniendo voy mucho. Ah. Pero había estado escuchando. Sí, sí. Vale, quiero ver la, la segunda. segunda. La segunda. Mm -hmm. oh, cook. Italia. Hay que ser yo. Hay que. No. No sería. Cud. Podría, podría es no. Que se usa? Es que yo no, no, no entiendo eso. ¿Podría parte? Noel cocinar comida italiana? Mm, el cun es sería... podría. Uh -huh, uh -huh. 
for that reason, I think it has to be negative. Okay. Okay. But I can use can too, or, or, or not necessarily. I prefer could because I don't know. I think it's, it's, it sounds better. You speak but... with a lot of people in your mind. Mm, yeah. Okay. Number okay. five. Can you... Uh, can you read when you were four years old? Uh, can I imagine? Can can you read when you were four years old? Can you read when you were four years old? Can you read when you were four years old? No está bien o si can't. Oh, positive. Can you read positive. when you were? Yes. Positive. Because it's a question. Can yeah. you? Uh, can you read? Yeah. Can you ah, read when you okay. were your? Ah, okay. Yes. 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 Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Positive. Positive. Yes. Okay. The number six, Ellie. Six. Ellie, can, Ellie can. can ride a bicycle. She like that. rides. Like that. Ellie can ride a bicycle. She rides it to school. Why negative? Ah. I think so. It's positive. Okay. okay. That's true. Ellie can ride a bicycle. Okay. She raised. O sea, ellos. Eh, eh, permítame. They couldn't go shopping yesterday. Entonces es negativo. Entonces es can't. O, no, pero couldn't no puede ser. O sí. oh, no, es que. Coren, porque sí podemos utilizar Coren ahora, ¿no? Ajá. O hay Kens. Ponga Kens, okay. entonces, para más sencillo, ¿verdad? Ellos no pudieron, sería, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ir de shopping porque estaba cerrada la tienda. Ajá. Entonces, en negativo, Kens o lo dejamos con Ken? Negativo, negativo. Ah, ok. Así, ¿verdad? Sí. Perfecto. Okay. Otro así las hace, las imágenes las pasa para otro lado para poderlas editar. Yo en el cuaderno lo estoy haciendo. Ah, ok. No, pero usted va a ser la representante. Legal. La representante legal. Es que estaba compartida la pantalla, pero cuando se desconectó la chica, se fue también la pantalla. Yo creo que la teacher la había dejado. No, es, era la de Salvador, creo yo, ¿verdad? Ah, usted era Salvador que la había subido. Este sí, ahorita también la voy a volver a compartir. Aquí ah, está. Ahí está. En ese cuadrito que está ahí a la parte de la flecha, no le deja de la flecha por el basurero. El primer cuadrito ¿Qué? tiene el lápiz, no le deja ahí escribir. Vaya, ahí está el lápiz. Aquí ah, vaya, ahí está. <risa> aquí estoy trasteando. Ahí está ya. Ahí, yo no me acuerdo cómo se escribe. Cool. Cool, no. no, es que ahí tiene que ser como negativo. Ajá. Eh, de, uh, quite la D de ahí. Quiero ver. No, no, no. Sí, así está bien. Así. Ajá. Sí. Ahora vaya a ser para el último. Y ahí se va a poner normal. 
Así, ¿verdad? Sí. Cuatro. Uh, aquí en la uno, ¿cuál era? Eh, Kent, Kent. negativo. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo es? No me acuerdo cómo se escribe. ¿Qué? No, quítele una. Ahí contracte. Ajá, ahí. Ok. Cool. Uh -huh. Y al final. Igual. Uh -huh. Que eh, last night. No, no hay que. Sí, no, no hay que. Sí. No hay que, ok. Eh, bueno. El que tiene que ser en negativo, don Rolando. Ah, ok, ok, excuse me. Ya, ya, esperan, permítame. Ya se lo corrijo. Porque dice sí, 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 que es vio negativo. la luna la noche pasada, ¿verdad? Ajá. Algo así, ¿verdad? Ahí, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Dice when I, I talk to you about the company report. Ok, sí. Aquí sí podría ir cool, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo, cool. ¿cuándo, cool. ¿cuándo podría? Ajá. ¿Cuándo, ¿Cuándo podría? ¿Cuándo podría hablar tú acerca a la compañía del reporte? Si yo Va, aquí, vamos cool. a usar el, el, el cool, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Está pidiéndolo bien. Sí. Polay. Polay. Sí, Polay. Polay. Ajá. Dice, most, most walking sí. on Pasón, pasón. Fly on over swing. Aquí cold. Yo a una dos le entiendo de esta frase. No, no, no le entiendo mucho. Porque ¿Qué le entiende usted, don Gilberto? No, pero. Porque dice most dinosaurios. Los dinosaurios caminaron. Ah, es que este está en pasado, ¿verdad? Este, sí, walk. Walker. Ajá, está en pasado, ya, ya. Yeah, yeah. Ajá. Dice, on lunch, back song. Back song. Pero, pero alguna vez. Volaron. Fly, eh, volar, ¿verdad? Fly. Sí, fly over swing. Over swing. Y nadaron, ajá. Entonces sería expresar habilidad, sería que en verdad. Sí, porque Ajá. Sí, también, ellos así empezaron, ¿verdad? En el agua, después volaron, después en la tierra, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Excuse no. me, I can hurt you right now. Tú puedes. Sí, no. Oír okay. usted. Yo puedo, ¿verdad? Es que yo, yo puedo. Ajá. Oír, dice. Oír ahora mismo. En este momento, la música. The music. Ajá. The music is, 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 too, is too low. Ajá. Ah, entonces sería que, en verdad. Sí, podría ser. 
Bueno, vamos a responder aquí. Excuse me. I can. La otra I can drive a truck when when was only six, 16 years old. ¿Quién, verdad? Porque está hablando de manejar. Sí. I can drive truck when I was only 16. I can drive. Dice que, que manejó por 17 horas o como. No, está hablando de años, ¿verdad? No. 17 años. Sí. Manejó. 16 años, ¿verdad? Siete a... Finish? Was it possible to finish or impossible to finish? Okay, could and couldn't is the past of can and can't. So the first one is I couldn't. I couldn't go to the party last night because I was sick. In general, when you ask about a talent, you ask in present. Yes? Can Noel cook Italian food? Mm -hmm. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Okay. Last year, the expression that talks about the tense or the time is last year. So the Ooh. past, uh huh. But now she can. So couldn't. here, exactly, we put it in negative. We say couldn't. My sister couldn't swim last year. Maybe she was too little. But now she can. She learned already. They, because the store was closed yesterday. Mm -hmm. Cool. Could or couldn't. They couldn't go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. Yeah? Yeah. When you were four years old. Pass? Couldn't. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Or could. Could, could you read when you could were you. four years old? Yeah. Yes, I could. I could. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, ride a bicycle. She rides it to school every day. Can. So she can, right? Ellie can ride a bicycle. She rides it to school every day. I'm very tired, so I am in prison. I am very can. tired, so I can't. I can go to the park. To play. You see the moon last night? Cool. Could you? Could you see the moon last night? No. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. Okay. I talked to you about the company report. When I can. Okay. 
When is it possible, right? When can I talk to you about the company report? Most dinosaurs walked on land, but some cool. Good, because that was in past. Okay. The dinosaur existed a long time ago. So some dinosaurs could fly or even swim. Excuse me. I can't. I can't hear you now. The music is too loud. Yes, the music is too loud. Okay. Okay, drive a truck when I was only six years old. I could. I could. I could drive a truck when I was only six years old. Douglas hit the tree because... Golpeó el árbol Kent. porque no pudo parar el carro. Kent. Ajá. Uh -huh. In present or past? He hit the tree. Because. Couldn't. He couldn't. Couldn't. Mm -hmm. He couldn't stop the car. How many hot dogs? Can. Can you eat? One Can you eat at one time? My God. Not many. <laughs> Five. Five, really? No. <laughs> Maybe three. Two or three, depends. Some people making a competition eat five or six, probably. But in a competition. Depends okay. on size. Uh -huh. Yeah, usually they are very similar. Read without my reading glasses. Where are they? Me. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I couldn't read without my reading glasses. Could be, but we usually say uh, an ability in the present. We usually say can't. I can't. I'm not able to. I don't have that ability. Yes? Questions? Any question? I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. we can we can use can when the the answer or question is is in simple simple present, but but the question or answer is in past or possibility is we can use couldn't could or couldn't. Yeah, if, if it is just a short answer, yes. But if you, for example, in the in the previous exercise, that it was a request, and you can do it because yeah, they request for a favor, and of course you are gonna do it. It's not necessary to answer with the auxiliary. Yeah. But in general terms, yeah, you can answer just with the auxiliary in short answers. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in this case that we're talking about present or past abilities, yeah, you can answer definitely with the auxiliary. Okay, teacher. Thanks. All right. No more questions. No more. Sure. All right. So Give me just one second. I need to move this. I have so many. All right. Okay. On this lesson, we are going to be discussing, okay, how was the last experience of a customer purchase? Do you run the products or service you obtain? Okay. Is customer satisfaction something very important? What words do you use to evaluate a product or service? These are some of the questions I'm going to leave here on the screen. Okay. For the ones that probably are not really familiar with the activities on your manual, you get to your manual. So you will see, hold on. Yeah, probably here. 
Okay. The objective is to talk about customer satisfaction of a product. For example, if you receive, um, let's say, a service, a transportation service, okay? So you pay for Uber, in driver, and then they usually give you to rank the service, right? Four stars, five stars. So, and that ranking depends on how satisfied you are as a customer, right? If the service was good, fast, efficient, and the price was good, then you give five stars, right? But if you have to wait or they cancel the, the ride or anything, then you are not satisfied because you were not, I mean, you didn't receive the service in good conditions, right? So maybe you don't give the five stars, right? Or maybe the person, the driver was not really polite or was not kind. And then you say, no, my ranking is gonna be three stars. So this is the, the idea, okay? To talk about the last experience as a customer, when you bought something, when you purchased something, not necessarily for your, for your company, it can be for yourself. For example, let's see, last thing I bought, I didn't want to say it, but I have to, <laughs> it's an example. I bought these glasses, so that was my last experience. If I have to rank in, okay, so I would say the service was good, they were fast, they were efficient, they were kind. Mm, maybe the person that was just taking the measurements was just a little hesitant about if the if I apply for the pack or the or the discounts that they had. That was not a big deal. So I say I was really satisfied with the service. Okay. So that's why I told you to think about the answers. Your customer satisfaction. It's important or it's not important important it is very important right so when you receive a service when you buy a product okay how satisfied you are usually we use the stars to rank the satisfaction or likes and dislikes right so we usually give likes or dislikes all right so think about si ustedes les hicieran estas questions como la responderían how was the last experience of a customer purchase? You as a customer, okay? Do you rank the products or services that you obtain? I usually do. <laughs> because, I mean, sometimes it's necessary that you rank, right? So is customer satisfaction something very important? And you say, yes, it's important because that gives a feedback to the company or the store, how good the service is, blah, blah, blah. So you express. And what words do you use to evaluate a product or a service? Likes and dislikes or stars, or you, you say thank you very much, or I don't know, whatever words that you use to evaluate the product. Oh, that was really good, that was really efficient. I'm very sorry, <coughs> or I'm not satisfied, I'm dissatisfied, whatever. Okay, so think about. Le voy a dar dos minutos para que piensen cómo responder cada una de esas preguntas in case you are a customer, okay? Ahorita pónganse como, como clientes, no como personas que dan algún servicio o que venden algún producto. So you okay. as a customer, you when you go and buy something, when you go to a store, when you go and pay for a service, Obviamente no estamos rankeando los services del seguro. <laughs> because that would be another story, okay? But now they say they have improved. Let's say they have improved. Feliz año nuevo, 2001, llevan apenas. <laughs> really? <laughs> Not very updated. <laughs>
Ready? Ready, not ready? Yes, yeah, teacher. Almost. All right. So before we share the answers, okay, before we share the answers about the question, okay, how important customer service satisfaction is, okay, we're going to think about the definitions of ranking, average, level of satisfaction, and survey. Yes, you have the possible definitions here. So a number expressing the central or typical value in a set of data in particular the mode, a possible scale in then not at all satisfied, partially satisfied, satisfied, more than satisfied, very satisfied, numbering from one to five as an interval scale. That's another definition. Instrument used to gather information and the position or level of something or someone has in a list that compares to quality. Mm -hmm. Think about the possible definition. What would be ranking? The ranking is the position or level something for someone was in a line that companies that the quilling. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ranking, the position or level. Something or someone has in a list that compares to the quality, the average. Mm -hmm. What's the average? Anybody? A number expressing the center or typical value yeah in, uh, in a set of yeah. data a particle in particular mode. yeah in particular, particular mode right so that's the average okay the level of satisfaction is a possible space is then not at yeah, from not satisfied at all to very satisfied, right? That's yes. a level of satisfaction. And mm -hmm. survey. Instrument use do to gather information, right? So when you finish every module, you're usually requested to complete a survey, right? So do measure the level of satisfaction you have with the, the last curse. class mm -hmm. during the last class so okay. this information will help you to answer this question right how was the last experience of a customer purchase yes if you were having a good experience you were satisfied with the service satisfied with the product satisfied with the information and this is in general, do you rank the products or service that you obtain? Is customer satisfaction something very important in marketing, of course? But what words do you use to evaluate a product or a service? All right, you're going to share your possible answers. There's not a right or wrong answer. It's just for practicing, for expressing your opinions, remember, okay? And the partners you're going to work with would be different partners. Let me see. Hopefully you don't get with the partners that are not able to talk.
que vamos a ver. De Vamos hecho, a, vamos a dar la, las preguntas. Ok. Ok. How was the last experience of a customer purchase? Déjeme que la busco. <laughs> eh, I think we have on chat. What's up? ¿En cuál es? WhatsApp. Ay, me perdida. Aquí envió. La de la imagen que envió el WhatsApp. Correcto. Uh -huh. Ahí. Permítame. Oh, okay. Ahí están dos pastillas. Sí, nada más. <risa> Ay, Dios. <risa> Por eso le dice: I was, it's, it's good, the very experience. Uh -huh. En mi caso, fue by my customer, uh, the company response uh, for the, uh, the products uh, box, ¿verdad? En, en the company respond for products malo, ¿verdad? Bugs. Ok. Por por este trato, digamos, a veces uno llega más por el trato que por por, por el precio, digamos, ¿no? Yes. Puede estar un poquito más caro y no, pero aquí me tratan bien, pues. Yes. Uh, for example, uh, my last experience mm -hmm. was um, I visited the store for buy a shoes. The, the seller is very polite. Um, I I stay very, very satisfied with the, with the product and with the seller. And, and I can, I came back to the store because the seller is very polite. Ah, okay. Eh, clarifica, clarifica los productos o servicios que obtienen. Ajá. Buena calidad. Y de larga y, duración. Sí, también una garantía de 24 meses. La tercera dice que es muy importante la satisfacción del cliente. Y le puede poner este. Yes, I do, póngale. Claro que sí. Y la última dice: ¿Qué palabras usas para.? Estaban interesantes, mm. pero estaban. Habían unos. Unos malos comentarios. 
Um, so I decide to put my rank because I don't share. No compartía esa, esa evaluación. Mm. Porque era mucho mejor de lo que, de lo que lo estaban evaluando. Por eso. Ah, bueno. Ahí valía la pena. Salía la defensa. <laughs> <laughs> ok, um, so, is customer satisfaction something very important? Yes. Yes. Because if I don't have the product or service to entirely satisfaction, no lo recibo. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> For me, yes, it's very important. For me, hmm. también, pero no los expreso. No sé, tradúzcalo ahí porque es que no, no molestan, chingan. Ajá. En general es very, en oh, general is good the offer, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ajá. Dice sí. bad if that. Bad, bad okay, is, dice. is bad, uh, if bad uh, is allergic to of the <laughs> <laughs> Bad is allergic. <risa> Yo fregando estoy con se eso. Chingan, es que es que si chingan eso de ti o mucho. Yo como no tengo contigo de suerte. No, yo sí tengo. Bueno, toda mi familia tenemos tigo porque nos sale más barato. Pero a veces les, y les hacen una pinche llamadera a todo el mundo. Ay, ay. Vamos a ver Lo cómo bueno es que de molestar. Para ofertar, ¿verdad? Sí. <ríe> que pongan recargo. Eh, pero si molestan, es bad if they hold the hold. Ok, very good. What about you, Salvador? In my case, uh, with this thing. Example, uh, I run the service to Caro with uh, zero star. <laughs> okay. Okay, the question number three. Is customer satisfaction something very important? Yes. La satisfacción del cliente yes. es algo muy importante. Yes. yes, yes. Yeah, because um, really, uh, uh, I think that uh, when I mentioned before, I classify the, the store maybe um, because uh, for the price or when the people uh, are very polite, uh, you know, so uh, I uh, return the the buyer the store yes yes this because I, I i feel very satisfaction yes okay yeah this question is very important because satisfaction of client uh, it is most important for the store uh, I remember
volunteers number one from group number one Any volunteer? I don't press? remember my group teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Same, I same. I don't remember number of my Okay, team. group number one was Andrea, Dennis, Hazel, and Mary. Okay. Group number two was Andrea Urbina, Gilberto, Catherine, Rolando. Group number three, Carlos, Roberto, Salvador, and William. And four was just... Julio Cesar and Virginia. So from group number one, Andrea Monge, Dennis, Hazel, and Maria. I saw Hazel and Maria talking only, right? Yes. The only brave women in this group. <laughs> <laughs> Women's power. Yes, it is. I see. So, okay. We're going to see the first one. Mm -hmm. um, how was the last experience of a customer purchase? I think it was good. It was satisfying because I have uh, the product as I as I told them, as I wanted. I have to answer all the questions or make a summary. Not go question by question, but make a summary. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Letty says she didn't run the products uh, because when the survey is it's too long and uh, we don't have time and, and we are agree about it. But in my case, I, I try to, to make some runs mm -hmm. when I don't agree in, in some comments or, or, or something like that. Um, I, we think about both. We think the customer satisfaction is very important because if, if we don't like the, the service or something, it wasn't okay in the attention, we are agree we don't buy the product. Mm -hmm. And it, let me say, uh, she used words for evaluate products like satisfying, excellent service, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I think we are agree on, on all right. Very good. Uh, most of the, uh, I mean, most of the answers were similar. Yeah, yes. you get a point on that. When you go to a fast food restaurant, they usually give you like a long sort a survey. I mean, yes. and you go there just for fast food, <laughs> not for exactly. a long survey. <laughs> like Pollo Campero, we say yes. a very long survey. Exactly. You only have Boring. like 30 minutes just to eat yes. quickly, fast food. That's and right. the survey is too long. They want mm -hmm. to evaluate. I prefer to buy a charlie. On the street. <laughs> and you don't have to do a ranking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Gilberto, Catherine, Rolando, any volunteer? No. For the next group, Carlos, Roberto, Salvador, and William. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, go ahead. Let's go, Carlos. Then, <laughs> then I me me yeah. me. <laughs> two questions. Two questions. Two questions each. Okay. Um, the first sentence: How was the last feeling of the customer purchase? Yeah, in my case, maybe um, it was a good experience because I like. Or I agree that the uh, the polite uh, people says uh, uh, are very nice with me, and, and you know, and 
I think that is very important to uh -huh. return the store. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the second question, do you run the product or server you think? Uh, yes, uh, maybe uh, in the before uh, explain, uh, I, I got to the maybe for the star, you know, uh, really for me it's a nice store. Yes, I know, only teach. All right, and Roberto continues. Okay, okay, question number three. Is customer satisfaction something very important? <clears throat> yeah, uh, my group, my group, uh, there are agree when the answer, uh, because the satisfaction of the customer is very important for the for the company, for the store, for the for the other for the item. Other item. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember uh, the CEO of my company, my company Warren Buffett say, quality is when the customer come back to a store and no product come back mm -hmm. to a store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when the customer come back to a store, uh, the customer is very, uh, your satisfaction is very good. Mm -hmm. it is, it, this is very important for the company, for the store. Yeah. Right. The last one, what word do you use to evaluate a product? Um, uh, I think so. Uh, we use the word, for example, this product is very good. Uh, this product is excellent or or other situation, this this product is bad. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or, uh, or you can or, bad service. Terrible. Yeah. Or you can say this product is cheaper. Have a good flavor. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. And good the quality service. is bad. Good quality. Okay. Uh -huh. Ten Only out of ten. ten. Yes. Thank you. And the last one, but not least, was Julio and Virginia. Are you guys going to express your ideas? Or you'd rather not? All right. It's all right. We did this already, just to clarify. Okay. Very unsatisfied, unsatisfied, neutral. These are some of the terms that we use sometimes. Okay, after a survey, we got this um, graphic, you know, to see the percentage of how satisfied the customers are, right? So you volunteer to role play the model dialogue, read the survey and answer the question related to how satisfied a customer is. Use adjectives to give and ask for opinions about customer satisfaction. Right, so this is something related definitely and this is the conversation good morning how can i help you i would like to return <clears> this <throat> what's wrong with it it is not the right i'm dissatisfied with the resolution is very poor and the quality is so you have to complete this dialogue this dialogue is incomplete right so you have to be creative <laughs> to use different words different adjectives okay i see would you like a refund or an exchange i would like a refund please when did you purchase the do you still have the receipt okay so let's suppose okay it's um a washing machine <laughs> okay good morning how can i help you i would like to return this washing machine washing machine right? What's wrong with it? It's not the right. Capacity. Uh -huh. It's not the right size, it's not the right brand. I'm dissatisfied with the speed. The or maybe the resolution has to do with the screen. So probably this wouldn't wouldn't uh, apply. Oh, 
the speed, the quality of work is very poor, and the quality is terrible in general. I see. Would you like a refund or an exchange? I would like a refund, please. When did you purchase the washing machine? Do you still have the receipt? Yes, of course. I have it right here and I want all my money back. All right. <laughs> so that would be very strict. But talking about the resolution, yeah, you probably will have to mention that you buy a, an electronic, right? So either a TV, a computer, a tablet, or a cell phone because of the rest, or a camera, even a camera, right? Because of the resolution or a printer. I think it would be applied better, okay? So that's how you have to do that. Okay, I'll give you a minute. Try to substitute, two minutes. Try to substitute the information that is missing. Try to make, I mean, possible for you to, exchange this information with the partner. Try to role play the conversation, okay? Try to complete with possible words. Two minutes and then we're gonna see what you've got. Are you ready? Okay, let's compare. One person is letter A, the other person is letter B. Okay, let's see, you are in pairs. Okay. Ahora. Sí. Good morning. How can I help you? I would like to return. No sé qué le puedo poner aquí. El laptop o, o washing machine. Le puse una laptop. Está bien. Ok. Una laptop. Eh, what is work? Street. Está hablando de la calle. No sé. Retornar está hablando, ¿verdad? Sí. Dice, good morning, how can I help you? Buenos días, me puede ayudar. Ajá, uh -huh. I, me puede I, ayudar, I would like to return this. Y podría ser street, eh, está hablando de calle. Yo no sé, pero para mí sería street. Eh, estamos hablando de que son clientes, ¿verdad? Y satisfacción uh, de productos. Permítame. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. 
Sí, porque eso es lo que... Ahorita voy. La practicamos. Vaya. Hello. 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 Yes. Este, yo sé, sé porque me, me tuve problemas de red, no sé qué es lo que íbamos a hacer. Entonces, ¿qué quieres? Porque parece que todo lo hago mal. ¿Por qué no empiezan por dejar el tema? Creo que vamos a... Eh, I'm dissatisfied dis with... The quality of image, la calidad de imagen. Uh -huh. The resolution is very poor and the quality... Bueno, ya no diría en esa otra parte. No sirve, pues. <ríe> Ya no iría. The resolution is very poor. Yes, eso sí. The, re oh. the, the resolution, the resolution is very poor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe and the quality is, I don't know, I don't think it's neat because you say in the, in the, Sentence, I dissatisfied with the quality of image. Or we can say in the wall quality, la, la calidad total, wall, se escribe W-H-O-L-E, and the wall quality. W-H-O-L E Ajá And the word quality is bad, for example <laughs> Poor <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't work I don't like it En fin Todo lo que sea despreciativo <laughs> Ya, ya, ya casi se le hace la canción de la Paquita. Sí, es, no, I'm very cruel. Vaya. In the real uh, life, I, I, I'm not so cruel. All right. Did you finish the conversation? Did you practice? Yes, yes I All think right. sure. All right. It's time to have the last attendance. Oh my God. One second, please. Hmm. All right. Andrea Monge. Carlos Ernesto. Denis Fernando. Present, teacher. Gilberto Present teacher Hazel José Andrés Julio César 
present. All right. Catherine Beatriz. Present. Hello. Catherine, I think it's your turn tonight for the 10 minutes one on one. Okay. Katy Briseida. Not here. Mary. Present teacher. All right. Roberto. Present teacher. Orlando. Present teacher. Rudy. Mm -hmm. Salvador. Present. Susan Andrea Urbina. Present teacher. Virginia. Present teacher. William. Present teacher. Great. So we stay with Catherine and the others. <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to rest. And see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I see you, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. Hey, Catherine. Hello, teacher. How's everything? Are you okay? Sí, tengo bastante inconveniente con mi señal. Desde que entré a la, a la clase me saca, me entra y ahí estuve peleando. Sí, hasta que ya está un poquito, pero se escucha como entrecortado. ¿Está lloviendo por donde usted está? No. No, nada. ¿Y está muy lejos? Eh, no, ni el Mahahual. El Mahahual. Ah, maybe. No. Podre, podría ser, por, porque sí, en algunos lados creo que está lloviendo. Ajá. Podría ser que ahí donde usted no esté, pero acuérdese que lo de las corrientes y todo eso puede ser que afecte la conexión. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cuénteme, Catherine, feedback in general. ¿Cómo le está yendo en el curso? You want to do it in English, do it in English. If you want to do it in Spanish, it's okay. Spanish. Okay. Eh, me cuesta mucho porque yo estoy aprendiendo como desde cero. Estaba ahí en los cursos, pero yo veo que varios compañeros, pues sí, están como más avanzados o les cuesta mucho todo, pero a mí me cuesta bastante. Y con la señal también que no, no le favorece. Sí. Que no puede estar como todo el tiempo sí, escuchando las la instrucciones. Mayoría, cuando usted nos llama a los, a los grupitos, yo sí entro, pero a la misma vez como que me saca. Uh -huh. No logra participar como quisiera. Uh -huh. No, cuando ya vuelve a entrar, ya todos están. ¿De regreso? Sí. Ah, ok. Sí, me imagino que debe ser un poco incómodo. Pero tiene el manual, logro descargar el manual. Sí, sí, ya ah. lo tengo acá. Perfecto, ajá, vaya marcando cómo hasta dónde hemos llegado. Trate de anticiparse un poco quizás a la siguiente lección, de revisar el vocabulario, la estructura para que esté un poco familiarizada y pueda quizás tener eh, algunas ideas y si se le, pues, se le facilita compartirlo en la, en la sesión en general, pues ahí hágalo para que a la hora de, de que accidentalmente la saque la, la conexión, pues usted ya haya corroborado que sus ideas o sus ejemplos son correctos. Mm, okay. Igual sí, puede interrumpir, mm. no se preocupe. Mm, ok. En las tardes, a veces cuando tengo tiempo en el trabajo, pues ahí reviso el video, a veces lo adelanto con tal vez que sí, se sí estaba todo bien. Uh -huh. Perfecto. ¿Y en la plataforma cómo le está yendo? Eh, ya voy a terminar la, la, la sección 2, la unidad 2. Uh -huh. Ya solo un ejercicio me hizo falta porque ayer que descansé estuve haciéndolo todo, pero igual 
sí tenía problemas ahí. Me costó para entrar. Y me imagino. Va a ser un poco complicado. Y las compañías sí. están todas ahí en el puerto. ¿Perdón? Las compañías de internet sí funcionan todas en su lugar donde está. Sí, y para ah. ese módulo me cambié todavía de compañía para ver si, si, si era eso, pero mmm, siempre me está dando problemas. Pero son datos. ¿Perdón? Se conecta con datos. En un wifi. Mm. O sea que sí tiene conexión de internet. Sí. No es que sean datos en el celular. No, tengo el internet así y tengo el plan en el celular, pero trato de uno y otro y ninguno. Sí, no, porque si sí, tiene, tiene el internet en, en la casa, tendría que funcionar. Sí. A menos que hayan otros dispositivos conectados. Eh, no, no, mi hermana, a esa hora yo le, le desconecto a modo de quedarme yo sola. Porque sí tendría que estar como el modo solo para usted. Sí. Uh -huh. Y he probado con cable. Mm, no. ¿Se conecta con un dispositivo móvil o con una computadora? Eh, las dos cosas. Uh -huh. Ahorita es con el, el, el celular. Pero igual en la computadora me cuesta un poquito más. Ajá, porque igual si se conecta con la computadora podría probar con un cable directamente desde el modem. Así como conectan las, la, la tele o cualquier otro dispositivo, conectarse con cable. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eso también ayuda a veces. Sí. Uh -huh. Bueno, pues, Catherine, no sé si quiere que le apoye con algo. O alguna duda. Sí, ahorita en lo que yo no logro entender con lo que el último que estábamos viendo de, bueno, en, en español sería podrá o podría. Medio estuve ahí eh, en el en un grupito, pero no les lo voy a entender por lo mismo. De la sí, gente. vaya, en, la, en el manual, sí, could or can. Es como sí. para pedir algo de una manera bien educada, bien polada y bien respetuosa, ¿verdad? Pero luego les puse un ejercicio solo para que vieran también el otro uso de can and could, que sí. es para el presente y el pasado. Por ejemplo, sí. las habilidades, las posibilidades, las, la, las explicamos o las describimos con can en el presente. Pero si esas eran habilidades en el pasado, eso se, el can se convierte en could. Pero eso solo um, era como para practicar que también can and could tiene otro uso aparte de el de, el de ajá, polite request. Solo era ah. como para aclarar, no es que eso le, creo que eso no lo tienen en el manual. No. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Solo era como para expandir un poquito el, el, el uso de. Sí. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, usted dice, ah, yo cuando tenía seis años ya podía, man, ya podía andar en bicicleta. Entonces no dice, when I was six, I can ride a bike, sino que when I was six, I could ride a bike. Mm. O cuando yo tenía seis años ya podía leer. No dice, when I was six, I can read. No, when I was six, I could read. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Para eso, solo era como para aclarar el otro uso que también tiene el can y el could. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Gracias. Vaya. Bueno, thank you very much for staying. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Okay, see you.